this video we will discuss about Ebola virus immune avoidance mechanism so how the Ebola virus avoid the immune response or suppress the immune response against it so this is the virus that inject into the cells and when it is injected into the cells and it goes into the low low pH region where uh, this membrane is been clipped off or the capsid is been clipped off so that the DNA can be converted uh, this genetic material DNA, the genetic material uh, that is RNA can be uh, translated or uh, by the uh, can be translated by the machinery of the cells so during this trans uh, it, this mRNA contains uh, this important kind of genes such as HGP, VP24, VP25, and VGP, VP30, VP40L. This helps in suppression of the this helps in suppression of the immune system. So, uh, parallelly, what happens is that there is a replication of the uh, virus that is continuously going on, and the assembly, uh, the final assembly build. Uh, assembly and budding occurs and the virus will secrete it outside the cells but during the secretion uh, the, the SGP is also been secreted so what this SGP does is it will prevent the antibody that is generated against uh, the GP by uh, by binding to the receptors of this uh, GP antibody so that the actual virus will does not get uh, affected by this GP antibody another way uh, or another way by which it suppresses the immune system is that the RNAi that usually uh, suppress the or gene expression or it excites the gene silencing so this RNAi uh, can be uh, function can be inhibit by this VP30 and VP35 as it will prevent the gene silencing of the gene silencing of the uh, cells uh, that is uh, usually been initiated whenever uh, the cell is in a abnormal condition and cell gets in abnormal condition whenever the uh, virus starts to take over the host machinery however in this case the VP30 and VP35 prevent this RNAi to suppress the gene uh, translation or the gene silencing so uh, this is uh, another uh, way another method by which gene silent uh, this uh, immune system will be suppressed and other thing is uh, the VP35 does one more thing that it will suppress the uh, translation of uh, RIG1 and MDA5 and this will uh, prevent the formation of interferon and since this interferons will formation will be reduced so it will give uh, the probability of uh, providing a immune uh, signals to the other um, uh, it will reduce the innate immune response uh, in short term we can understand that so the interferon production is reduced so because of this the other uh, cells or immune system of the body will not be able to uh, get information about the abnormalities that is going on within the cells and other things that it does is that VP24 uh, VP24 uh, will affect uh, will affect the signaling uh, response that is being generated by IFN or uh, interferon uh, IFN alpha beta and IFN uh, uh, gamma so it will suppress this signal so immune response because of these signals which also get suppressed and uh, another thing that BP24 does is it will affect the uh, it will affect the uh, interaction of uh, cells or we can say antigen presentation of the cells uh, with the T cells so because of this uh, T cells will not be able to get activated or the T cells will not receive the uh, antigen of the virus that are currently being produced this will prevent 
the immune response that is being generated by the T cells. So these are the various ways by which Ebola virus will avoid the immune uh, mechanism or the immune response uh, from the host. I hope you have understood uh, some part of this thing in order to understand uh, this immune avoidance in details you can go to the reference that has been provided in the description thank you for your time that's all for this video